Recently a viewer emailed me a very good question and that was how should we pray when we take communion? That is such a good question because as a priest over the years it seems that a lot of people, deaf and hearing, take communion and then go back to their seats and sit and talk or watch other people line up to take communion instead of taking that time to pray. We really should be taking that time for prayer. In Mass, when we take communion and eat the bread, that is Christ's body. When we drink the wine, that is Christ's blood. When we're accepting communion, we are meeting Jesus. He is with us. He comes into us. Jesus is with you, present, right there. And we need to take advantage of that time to speak to him. However, many people have admitted over the years that they really don't know what to say or what to do during that time of prayer. The church has always encouraged us to accept communion and then to go sit or kneel in prayer. We need to be aware that Jesus is with us and hold on to that. And next, then we need to thank Jesus for coming into us, for helping us, that we're happy that he's with us. After that, we need to take the opportunity to talk to Jesus and ask him for help with things in our life. Ask him to please bless us. Thank him for letting us follow him. Asking him to bless our friends, our family. Praying for other people that need our prayers. For example, poor people, people that are sick, people that are victims of war. We could be praying for those people. When we're done with that, then maybe we could pray the Our Father. Maybe we could ask Mary to pray for us. Maybe we could ask our favorite saints to pray for us. And then when the priest says Mass has ended, go in peace, and the priest bless us, then we leave happy because Jesus is inside of us. We carry that with us. I took the opportunity to ask some people from our parish how they pray after they receive communion. That way you'll have a chance to see what they've said. After I receive communion, I kneel and I pray. And I thank the Lord Jesus for coming into me. And I pray for my family. I pray for my children, for co-workers, for everyone that I meet during the day. I thank God for everything that is wonderful. Then I also repent and ask him to forgive my sins that I've committed. After I take communion, I thank Jesus for meeting with me and being with me. And I follow the T-A-P-S system. I thank God for everything that he gives us every day. I ask God for things that I need. I praise God for everything that he's done for us. And I repent and tell him how sorry I am for my sins and ask forgiveness. Well, to be honest, I pray for a lot of different things depending on what the homily was. If the homily was about sin, then I ask God to forgive my sins and help me be less critical of my friends and family. If the homily was about getting into heaven, then I think about my family who have passed or who will pass, and I pray that God will get them into heaven. And I pray for a lot of different things. Sometimes if I'm stuck for something to pray for, I'll pray the Our Father. This vlog is really about helping us improve how we pray after communion. If you don't mind, do me a little favor. After you take communion next time, add an extra person to your prayers. Me. I always love getting prayers and need them. Pray to help me to continue to do my best to serve people as a priest. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you.